Hello. Let's first talk about the Bistock Server Licensing Calculator. This widget which is introduced is directly appearing on the dashboard for a new customer. However, if you are an existing customer and you wish to add this widget, you need to go to Add Widgets in that Environment Artifacts Bistock Server License Widget. So once you have added this widget, then you can see the estimated licensing price for the Bistock servers based on the architecture of your system. It will automatically pull certain information from the environment and the calculation will occur. To understand this calculation better, you can go to our website and see the blog written by our founder, Sarvana Kumar. As you can see, the publicly advertised prices for enterprise standard Let's have a look at how it will appear on the licensing widget. This is how a standard edition with a certain number of processors and cores would look like. This is for the enterprise edition. For the developer edition, the license calculation is not permitted and is provided as zero. However, it will provide how many processors you do have. With Bistock Server 2013, Microsoft moved to a per core licensing model to keep Bistock licensing consistent with SQL Server licensing. This pricing model has started from Bistock Server 2013 onwards. If our existing customers who are using Bistock 2010 use this widget, they can see the estimated price, but this will be according to the Bistock 2013 pricing plan. Thus, if you have more than one server in your architecture, calculation will vary based on the architecture. You can also use the same technique which we use by running the msinfo32.exe command and check the system type to verify what type of processor you're running, what is the core information. And using that, you can also identify the core factor. Based on the core factor, the calculation is done. That was it for the licensing widget. Hope you found this video helpful. Please visit our website for more such videos. Thank you.